Hey guys, Jared Garcia, iSpeakRealty.com. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, and uh, subscribe to our channels. We'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, today, what we're going to be talking about is seven steps to house selling success. Now, um, you can find these steps on our website as well. You can search properties on our website as well. So uh, take a look at iSpeakRealty.com. We'd greatly appreciate it. Step one is to plan and prepare to sell your home. Now, you usually want to have a couple months, maybe even a month, two, um, before you even put your house on the market so you can, you know, do any repairs, maybe get inspections, uh, check, see what types of things may need to be addressed, that type of stuff. You know, so you really want to really, you know, get things prepared. So really, you want to ask yourself, are you ready to sell, right? Um, one of the things that we want our sellers to understand is that, you know, you have to be prepared to sell. You have to be prepared to um, make sure that the house is show ready. Um, make sure you're ready to move to the next property. Make sure you're ready to even uh, purchase another property. So um, under step one, you want definitely want to make sure you're ready. Uh, when should you sell? Now, right now, uh, inventory is very low in a current market. So when inventory is low, supply and demand kind of kicks in. And those are some things that you might want to take into consideration. Is it a seller's market? Is it a buyer's market? Do the markets actually um, determine whether or not you're going to be selling or not? Or are you going to be um, relocating for a job? Uh, that type of stuff. So, you know, when the time to sell, sometimes we don't know when the time to sell might actually come in our lives to sell a property, but you want to be prepared as best as pop as possible. Um, under, um, you know, you know, being prepared, you also want to make sure that you do certain improvements to bring the best value to your home. And we can do a market evaluation on your property, let you know what things are selling for in the neighborhood, and uh, really explain uh, to you the differences between your house and maybe your neighbor's house, right? Um, and what the norms are in the neighborhood. You definitely don't want to over improve your house, right? So uh, those are things that you might want to look out for. So those are all under step one. Now step two is we definitely recommend getting a realtor. Realtor has a lot of connections in terms of getting you financing for the next property, um, possibly uh, giving you those evaluations up front, giving you an opinion on exactly um, you know, what types of updates you might wanna do so you can get full value for a property. Now, realtors have all of the updated disclosure forms, all updated purchase contracts, et cetera. They're gonna help you from start to finish, from getting the home ready, to showing it, to scheduling it, to doing the paperwork, to closing the transaction, and uh, to basically handing those keys over. So realtors uh, typically don't get paid up front. Um, it's a commission only type of basis majority of the time. So those are things that you might want to consider using a real estate agent is that uh, all the work that they do up front, uh, they get compensated when it's uh, time to actually close on the property. Um, so those are things that we definitely want you to understand when you are hiring a realtor, but uh, you might also want to discuss how do you choose a realtor. Uh, you can talk to your friends, your family, see who they recommend. Uh, you can come directly to iSpeakRealty.com. We're definitely here to help you out, guys, uh, with buying, selling, investing, that type of stuff. But, you know, uh, look for somebody that uh, is in your community, um, you know, you, that you see them pretty active. You definitely want to ask whether or not they're full-time or part-time, that type of stuff. Uh, you might want to ask for a resume, uh, different types of things. Now, um, I'm going over some tips in the video that uh, might not be... Um, that are actually not listed on our website. So previewing our videos, you get a little sneak peek of some additional types of stuff. But uh, number three, what we're looking for here is how you're going to set your price. 
Now we talked about this in some other videos, but you definitely want to see what is selling in your neighborhood, see what your competition is, see if you are going up against other builders, etc. cetera. Uh, so those are things that we can help you out with so you can consider the values. There's just a lot of factors that are really important um, in considering how you're going to set that price. Um, are you going to set it to where you're going to get a bunch of people through the door? Or are you going to go high and try to go lower if you don't get any offers, etc.? Uh, there's a bunch of different strategies and there's do's and don'ts to each strategy as well. And we can sit down with you guys, talk about those things, really get uh, into the nitty gritty of how you're pricing that and uh, how much is too much. You know, how if you're going to price a little above maybe what we recommend or what the market recommends, how much is too much? You want to get some offers, right? You want to get some things going. So uh, we'll, we'll help you guys with that. Um, step four is basically getting ready to market the property. So say you guys go to a car dealership or you guys are looking for a car. Uh, you know, the term there is get your car show ready, right? You want that car to be show ready. And if anybody comes to take a look at it, it has that new car smell, it has, everything is, is clean, everything is spotless under the hood, etc. You want to take that same show ready concept to your home, right? And look at those types of things that you might want to do to uh, make it appeal to the senses, right? Smell. Um, you might offer some snacks at, at an open house, that type of stuff. How does the, again, how does the property smell, etc.? How does it look? How's the curb appeal? Um, when you walk in, is there music? Can you see yourself in that property, etc.? So those are things that you, you want to really um, key in on. But how do you market your home? You want, definitely want to get preparation ready, um, showing conditions all ready. You want to get your pricing ready. You want to talk to your realtor about all the marketing that they do. We give you a full marketing list of everything that I Speak Realty does to market your property so we can get the best possible um, value for your home. And uh, all those who follow us, you can see what we do. We do quite a bit out there. Uh, we're doing a little bit of everything that uh, we can possibly do to reach that next customer, whether they're here in, this, in the city or you know they're coming from a different state. So uh, we're doing our best to get you guys um, to the closing table. But you want to get prepared for negotiations. You want to get prepared for closing and moving, etc. So you definitely want to understand how to hold an open house. Uh, we help you with that. You know, how you are approaching, you know, current conditions in the market, how you're letting people in, how you're being secure with people coming in, etc. Uh, when you're holding it, that type of stuff. But um, and then you also want to talk about how you're really showcasing it online. We have a lot of uh, marketing channels online, as you know, Instagram and Facebook and all those different types of platforms that uh, are available to you. Um, there's a lot of big websites of property searches. Is it going on your personal website? Is it going, where's it going? Is it going everywhere possible? Can you do a 3D tour? That type of stuff. So number five is actually sell it, right? Uh, there's no question that selling homes is a really important event. Um, you know, it takes a lot to get things done, a lot of moving parts. So uh, we definitely want to see what's an acceptable offer to you as a customer of ours so we understand exactly how to negotiate. Um, these are things that uh, you know are confidential uh, between a seller and a realtor. Um, buyers, we don't tell the buyers, hey, you know, this is what they'll take, this is their bottom line. No, you need to, you know, research your realtor, make sure that they abide by the code of ethics, abide by the National Association of Realtors Code of Ethics and stuff like that, right? So just get somebody you trust, somebody that's going to shoot you straight in terms of selling it, knowing that uh, you guys can sit and talk about what's acceptable, what's low ball offer, what's, you know, obviously you want to get the maximum out of your property. What's your bottom dollar? We definitely want to make sure that um, your bottom dollar really hits your, your move, right? You want to make sure that you're moving on. So with that, um, you also want to know what really what is a counteroffer, right? 
Some people don't even know that they can counter offer. They get an offer and say, no, I don't really like it. Well, you can take that offer, update it, and tell them what you're looking for. Tell the buyer, hey, you know, we appreciate your offer of 5,000 below, but we are, uh, we have two other offers on the table. We'd like to see, you know, a full price offer. You pay the closing costs. If they weren't paid the closing costs, right? So there's a lot of negotiating to it. Um, you might just take the offer. It might be a wonderful offer, cash offer. Uh, you know, they pay for all the closing costs, et cetera, and it's uh, closed in 14 days and everything's said and done. So you really never know. We want to start to talk about that. What types of negotiations are there? What can you do? Uh, we don't want to leave any money on the table. Uh, we want uh, you to understand, you know, that offer, right? And understand how you can negotiate on those types of terms, okay? So we definitely will help you out there. Now, step number six is getting to that closing table. Um, you know, we really want to make sure that all the financing for the buyer is said and done. All the surveys are pooled, all the inspections are done, all your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed, and everything's pretty much said and done. Um, lenders' documents are sent out on time. Um, everybody is really getting things funneled to that final uh, funding date. If it's cash, it's a little bit different, but you still have to get due diligence. You still have to check those liens. You still have to check a lot of stuff. You want to make sure the house is sound and safe before you close the property. And we also recommend doing a walkthrough on the property, right? So there's just a bunch of things that you want to make sure that we get done. All the home inspections, all the reviews, all of that stuff is tidied up, right? And you might want to think about when you should close. You know, there's end of month, beginning of month. Do you need a 60 day close? Do you need a 90 day close? Is that gonna hurt you in terms of finding a buyer? Some buyers wanna move in really quickly. Do you have a lot to move? That type of stuff. Um, really, you wanna know what happens within the closing, right? Do you also wanna know um, when the settlement is gonna happen, when closing is gonna happen? Those kind are really one and the same, but um, you wanna know when you're gonna go to the table, sign the documents, get your transaction closed and have that paperwork filed with the appropriate government agencies and and uh, get get it closed and get your money right so you can fund the next transaction or fund a retirement or fund really whatever you'd like to spend the equity on your property that hopes you get out of the property um, depending on where you're at in the current market right so those are things that you definitely want to know what's happening during closing. We'll explain a little bit about that. But how you know, um, lastly is moving. You know, we definitely want to make sure that you know all the movers are set up. Everybody is ready to rock and roll. Now you might get a mover to come um, a couple of days before, and that's why you want to make so certain that closing is really happening because. Um, you don't want to pack up your entire house and then find out that maybe a lender is missing some documents. Uh, there's some conditions that still need to be met. Those I's and T's are not fully crossed yet, and uh, we found some things that need to be done. Um, those are things that we try our best to make sure. A lot of banks will do some fraud checks if you guys um, have experience with um, properties, you know, buying and selling properties. Uh, FHA loans, VA loans, they want to make sure that, you know, you didn't go buy a car, the buyer didn't go buy a car, the buyer didn't uh, go extend their credit out, um, you know, they didn't lose their job, etc. So they're going to run a final check right before closing, right before you move and you're packing and all that. So we want to make sure that moving is, is uh, the right time because if it's not, we need to extend deadlines. Maybe you close early. We don't know. You know, there's a lot of moving parts. A lot of things that as realtors we've done several times and as home buyers and sellers you may have done a couple times uh, we as realtors should have that experience to bring that to you guys and make sure that we guide you through um, the steps to success right and we want to make sure that you guys get the best out there so if you guys are looking for a realtor 
uh, please reach out to ispeakrealty.com. We're definitely here to help you guys out. Hope you guys enjoy our videos and uh, hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.